Hey folks, Quill18 here, welcome to another episode of Let's Play Some Hearthstone! As I said in the end of the last episode, I was gonna go and make this, uh, sort of, uh, Dinomancy deck, and it turns out when you, uh, make a new Hunter deck, Dinomancy is one of the ones that they're like, hey, we can build this for you! I didn't have all the cards for that, and I used, they still loaded that one up to use as a source, and then made some tweaks. I, I think I'm running a couple extra traps in the base version, like I've got the extra snake trap in here. Um, I'm also running a couple of trackings, because I like that a lot, a lot, a lot. Um... So we'll see how it goes. Mostly we're just gonna we're gonna play this for the the lulls. I'm almost certainly gonna go and flip over to back to playing aggro disc uh, discard lock for my primary stuff. As you can see, I uh, I am running the hearth stats um, add-on, which is so much better than it used to be in terms of like automatically reading your deck contents and stuff like that. Really, really handy. I'm just realizing there's a good chance it's gonna overlap a little bit of the game board just because of the funky resolution that I'm playing Hearthstone in here. I'll see if I can make some adjustments for next time so that it looks a little less derp. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. All right. Um, well, that's an interesting setup to start off with. Um, well, we're not going to need the Savannah High Main until later. Uh, you know, turn one, turn two, maybe turn three. I mean, no, yeah, that's okay. I mean, there's a good chance Cat Trick might go off before we get our... Uh, Eagle Horn Bow out, which is a little disappointing, but other than that, it ramps out nicely. So no idea what my opponent here, Motherboard, Mother Bear, is going to be playing. As as usual, I don't know the meta, and also at rank 20. I mean, 20 is different than, you know, 25, uh, but there's still going to be a lot of randomness, so the ability to predict this stuff is maybe a little low. Uh, Mulligan two of his cards. Oh, he's got Malkazar in his deck. I've got a Malkazar. For, you get that as a... Don't you get that as a bonus for completing... Oh, he come from cleaning uh, Karjan, which I just did. So he's going to have some extra legendaries in there. That's interesting. I wonder if it's going to be some sort of Reno thing or something like that. I don't know. I mean, we do have the coin. Uh, and I suppose I could coin out the Eaglehorn Bow if I get another decent turn three drop, but I don't think this is the one. Uh, we'll just drop the uh, the Alicat for now. That's going to be okay, and I think that will be turn. And yeah, so I will uh, I will have to, uh, to tune this up a little bit to get... Can I just widen this? I don't know if that's going to mess things up. And you do this. I realize it will mess up the uh, the recording here, but I can adjust that in just a mo. Just a moment. There we go. That seems to be better for not overlapping. Hold on. Let me um drop down cat tricks. Sure. Yeah, we'll do that and we'll save the coin. Okay, we'll do that. And let me tune this be a little bit better in terms of capture. Bam. Bam. And I need to just center this up. There we go. Alright, Moros, who's going to keep summoning some stewards. I don't think I've got anything that can kill that guy. I don't really have the splash damage. I do have a kill command. I could go and hit her in the face with the kill command right now while I've got the opportunity. Or... Or... I think it's much better to put down the Eagle Hornbow. And at this point, do we just start going for face? I mean, I don't think I kill the Stuart with the Eagle Hornbow. I think I just start going for face. Because I think she's developing crazy stuff, and I'm going to have to be really worried about late game things, so we're going to do that. Um, I could have coined out the Houndmaster. It's worth noting that. I think most likely what's going to happen, we'll play the Houndmaster, and on turn 5, we'll coin out the Savina High Main. All right, he's going to start pinking me in the face. Well, he's got nothing else to do with that. Interesting that he's not casting much. Holding a lot of probably really expensive cards in his hand. Buying some time with Moros, I suppose. Um, I'm not sure that that helps me. I Now, casting the Houndmaster without a thing is annoying. So that's no good. Do I just play Animal Companion? I mean, I could put down the stubborn Gastropod and, you know, hit with my ability, but that seems kind of lame. I think we go ahead and play the Animal Companion. I'm happy with that. I mean, charge the charge guy would have been better, but the 2-4 would have been lame. Or is it 4-2? Four 4-2? Two? Four two? The guy who gives a bonus to your other critters? Spiked Hog Rider, Battle Cry. If an enemy mini has taunt, this get Oh, man, really? That's really annoying. Anti-taunt tech? I've got to go and uh, turn off the pop-up that adds the flavor text. I don't know. Maybe not. Okay, does this person not have spells in her deck? Like, <laughs> I will never trigger your cat tricks ever. Ever, ever, ever. 
Um, yeah, we're, we're gonna coin out the high main, although it's gonna die to this. Can I? Hmm. I could put down the gastropod, but it'll clear it with both of those guys. Maybe, as much as it hurts, do I just kill this thing with the bow? And then coin out the savannah high main? I think I do. Ew, I don't like this. But dims the brakes. It'll keep a beast on the board, which is at least gonna be nice for kill command or more likely Houndmaster stuff. Houndmaster ping, Houndmaster stubborn gastropod, something like that. I feel like, I mean, this is not a super fast aggro deck. And I don't know where our dinomancies are. That's the other thing we can do is um, mulligan harder for that. This video will all be like the dinomancy deck game. Yeah, I want you to cast a spell, dude. I mean, hopefully... Okay, that's... That's fine, actually. I mean, we're gonna hold on to the kill command for, like, hopefully the actual kill, or eliminating something crazy. Sucks that we have no AoE in this deck at all. And Jeweled Macaw, maybe. Um... Friendly Beast 2-2 two, two, and Taunt. I think the thing that makes sense is actually to throw the boost on this. It means you can't kill it with one dude, because it'll have three hit points. Um, and the taunt means you have to kill him first. I, I suppose what I'll do is I'll play the, the Jewel Macaw first. In case he gives me a beast that changes all the math. I mean, I could put someone else to taunt, but no. Okay, no, I'm going to do this. Or I could put it on here. He can actually tank quite a bit of damage. Oh, he can just get pinged, which would be annoying. Let's make him ping-proof, even though it means I can't attack with him this turn, and that does suck. Um, we're going to do that. She can do a lot of damage next turn, so I'm not convinced that, like, this is the ideal way to have dealt with these particular threats. Alright, Sea Giants. Wow, the ping would have gone there. So we'll clear that. I mean, losing the 8 attack does suck. Now, I think we're going to have to kill the command the Sea Giant, or... Well, yeah, the Stuntmurn Gastropod doesn't help. Uh, that's actually really annoying. Super duper annoying. Well, I think, I mean, we just... We don't have the tempo to come back with something like this. We don't have any board presence. Um, our cards aren't going to have the same value as this person's. With all their crazy, the extra legendaries, they're clearly playing for a little bit later in the game. Uh, Adaptive Beast, I'm not sure that's going to help us, but maybe. Tell you what, let's adapt him. Oh yeah, it's Beast, hold on. And so is this. Well, I could kill Command and just run into it with a 2, that's fine. And then I suppose I could put Taunt up on this guy. Just buff him up and do that. I think I'll do that. I think I'm going to go ahead. We're going to kill Command that way. Do that. Houndmaster this guy. Um, and probably do something like this. Um, this. I don't like that I haven't used my hero power very much. I should have maybe prioritized using it more. You know, and cast a few less things, put more on a clock. Volnasaur. Adapt, then adapt. I wonder if that's one of the ones he got from his uh, Prince Malkazar, or what? Huh. So the Frostbolt is the one he got for free from the Battling Book. He's double adapting. So, alright, he's got Wind Fury. And can't be targeted by hero spells or powers. Oh, alright. Time for Morris is gone, I guess. Um, it does put me in a bit of a pickle here. Well, no, it doesn't, actually, because I can do this. And then Gastropod. Do I want to adapt him? Probably not. He's just going to die one way or another. Unless I can make him immune to spells. 
which is an idea. But I think what we do is put down the wolf and ping. If you can clear this thing with a spell, I mean... I don't know. I'm kind of doomed. I don't know what the, the options are for evolution. I still haven't looked it up. Um, hearthstone... Or not evolution, adapt. Hearthstone, adapt. So I should look up a list of these things. So there's ten possible... Okay, that's quite the range. So you really... So the odds of getting liquid membrane, I guess, which is the one where you can't be targeted by spells or hero power, is not huge. He's already got ton, he's already got that. Giving him plus one, plus one doesn't help. Plus three uh, health might make a difference. Who the hell are you and what did you do? What is this? Mayor Nogginfogger. All targets are chosen randomly. Okay. So... Let's start with the tracking. You. I think we'll take the infested wolf, or we could double tracking, but it's not like I have that many other, like, huge things. Um, I think I've got to kill the thing. I've got to kill the Volcanosaur. I've got no choice. Although, I will, I will wait to adapt. I'm going to adapt this dude first. See if we can get him strong enough to kill that. Oh, yeah, target's chosen randomly. Okay, that's a little... Eh, that's not redundant. Let's give him a Divine Shield. That's super good. All targets are chosen randomly. Okay, yeah, that's that's actually a little on the sketch side. Holy shit. Do I even want to attack? We gotta try. There's more of a chance I'm going to kill one of my own dudes. Wow, did I ever fucking luck out twice? What the hell? Because I played that wrong by putting more things out. I wasn't really... I, all targets. Even attack targets. But which I knew because I just saw it with this. Holy crap. Um, hmm. There's more of a chance that I'm going to kill myself on my own freaking gastropod than anything else. Huh. Now, if he attacks and he does this, I think he, it's still a random choice. So there's actually a really good chance that he won't hit the gastropod, which is really interesting because this mechanic does ignore taunt. Oh my god, that guy has failed every time to do anything. That's incredible. That's actually unbelievable. That's a lot of damage to the face. If he's got another one of those... So Freezing Trap's not going to save me for anything. Uh, do we have Lethal? We have 9-11 on the board, so I don't have Lethal. I mean, I guess there's nothing to do but to, like, attack with everything. At least if she drops a charge creature, she can't kill me. She can't kill me with a Fireball. Well, no, she can Fireball ping. She probably has Lethal. Two Frost Bolts and a ping. Well, I think you've used a Frost Bolt, yeah. Well, that was a Gifted one. The secret might be throwing her off. Okay, the taunt is kind of annoying. But I guess this is a sign that... Oh, that's awesome. Uh, that she doesn't have lethal. Or she's just BMing me. Shuffle a copy of that into your deck. Uh, well played. So, I mean... I'm gonna put that down just in case there's anything weird. Um, but there we go. All right, good. Whew. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, I was pretty sure I'd lost that one, so I'm really surprised. Fun deck. We didn't get our signature card, which is Dinomancy, despite the fact that um, we did we did even tracking once. Huh. We did even tracking once at the end there. A sea giant. I like I like that deck though. That looked like a fun, very creative deck. I don't know, you know, I, for all I know, it's, you know, it's an established one, or one of the pre-mades available, or this or that, but it looked like a lot of fun. It looked like a ton of fun. It was weird that the cat trick didn't trigger for ages. Alright, we've got ourselves a rouge. So, I mean, I don't think we want to start with kill commands in the hand. Animal Companion is pretty good. Crackling Razor Maw is only good if I've got another beast already in play. So I think we do that. Actually, I'm wondering about doing, in this scenario, I mean, the thing is, he's a great 3-drop, 
But I think we'll actually do a full thing, because we're going first, it's going to be that much more important that we start with some one cast and cost cards. Or some decent two cast and cost. Well, we can't coin that, never mind. Um, that'll do. Worst case scenario, tracking on the second turn is not the end of the world, or we won't even need to do that, so I'm going to start with an alley cat. It's nice to get the alley cats out of the way early, because they're crap late game draws. One of the other reasons for using something like tracking. You get to dump those. The caverns below. Okay, so it's the standard rogue of uh, my minions have five casting costs. I did beat one of these, um, I think, in between episodes as my warlock, and it was just mostly a matter of uh, I will just kill them harder and faster. Um, while it would be nice to have the cat tricks for these things, I think it is important to put it down. I actually expect to see some spells come out of this rogue really early. I'm probably going to see another one of those goddamn Moroses. Um, I could also dig down for a thing. Um... It's not quite as temporific. No, we'll put it down. It's fine. Can't well, you could coin fan of knives. That would it that would be fine-ish, I suppose. I should be slightly annoying because the coin would actually trigger my critter. Uh, he's just gonna knife. Fair enough. The coin would trigger this, and then the fan of knives would do damage to it. Alright, so I don't have a good play. I think what I'm going to do, because I've got a turn 4 play, which is fine. So I think I'm going to Alley Cat. Hit him in the face. The idea being, try to use the um, the hero ability fairly often. It's a way to really stretch up my deck while doing a lot of extra damage. I mean, by itself, the hero ability kills someone in 15 turns. Right, so it adds to the clock. We're just going to ignore that and go for the face. I mean, she's probably going to knife me again. She should. Oh, there's the coin. Okay, so that's going to trigger my cat. The question is, what is... Oh, you're going to combo that thing! Alright, doesn't matter what you do, but yeah, you're going to recast, you know... you got to cast the same creature four times. There's a lot of different ways to do it. Do we want to use kill commands early? No, I mean, there's going to be lots of ways to trigger it. I'm not going to tracking. We're going to go and put down the infested wolf. Um, and I think we ignore the fairman and just keep going for face, right? Because, I mean, there's not a really good trade at all. So, yeah. Although, tracking into my weapon would have also been potentially a decent move there. To clear the ferryman. Like Alright, there's cast number two. Probably at least has a second one in the deck, and probably other ways to bounce it, right? Shadow step, so on and so forth. And it becomes extremely dangerous. Could see it now. Could be Shadow Step and replay it. Well, you don't have quite enough mana for that. Oh, there's the mounts. So, that's... Okay, that'll be three next turn. Could even, you could even go three, four. Um, double kill command. So we've got... Okay, we don't have enough mana for everything. We've got five on the board. Ten more in the hand, plus this. I mean, we're goddamn close to the lethal. Next turn, I can double kill command. If I use the Tundra Rhino... I will do 7 damage this turn, bring him to 10. This is 10 more damage, although I still have to have the beast on the board. Still, that seems like the way to go. Um, unless he clears everything on my side, I have lethal next turn. I don't even have to worry about taunts or anything like that. So let's see. These are always the moments where my heart starts to beat faster. Okay, three of four. Got plenty of mana left. But the thing is, worst case scenario, we're looking at a 5-5 five, five novice engineer on the board. It's not going to happen. Alright, so you're going to combo for the damage. Charge, maybe? I guess so. I mean, that's one of your lethalities when you do get this, is the 5-5 five, five charges, but... Okay. There you go. GG. Whoo! -ah. Alright, you know what? I don't like this deck. <laughs> even though I, I, you know, I don't think I've got. There's, there's other cards you could probably use to make this a lot better. I wasn't even looking at the tuning. This is just, it's going to be fun. And I've never gotten to use Dynamancy yet. And maybe you don't need it. I don't know. Uh, what, are, what are my quests? That's right. I got like, the ten game thing, or win ten games, play ten Divine Shield minions, play fifteen demons. Should I cancel one of these and re-roll it? They are fifty gold quests, and I don't know what the quests are anymore. But it used to be that like. I think there were, what, 40 and 60 or something like that? So you just cancel the 41s a lot? 
I guess I'll leave them there. It'll be incentive to make different kind of decks to finish the quests. Which is usually how I used to play. It's like, what are my quests today? That's what I'm going to do. Oftentimes it'd be like, okay, I'm playing Arena. Oh, I need I need three wins as a Paladin. Okay, then I'm picking Paladin in the Arena or some, some damn thing like that. Maybe it was 30 and 60. I don't remember how many gold you used to get. But we can get our May of Shadow Song portrait, I suppose. So, 20 minutes in. I think this might be the last game for the video. I think that'll be pretty good timing. Hopefully we end in another win, because wouldn't that feel good? And especially since ending on a loss feels shitty. I still feel like I played quite poorly against that first mage. Alright, I'm going to start with the extra card and the coin. Um, I think it's still fine to start with the alley cat. I think I'm still going to reshuffle the kill commands back in. Although you need them to win. But I think we're going to do something like this. I don't know, maybe maybe you want to keep the kill commands around because they're your win condition? The thing is, with double tracking, I feel very confident that I can find another one should the need arise. So, Alley Cat, and then probably Evolve one next turn. It's not a very powerful creature to evolve, but why not, right? It's a double mulligan. Awaken the Makers. Alright, he's got a quest as well. Quest, summon... Summon seven death, metal, death Rattle minions. Reward, you get Amara Warden of Hope, which is a... 8-8 eight, eight taunt that sets your health to 40. Holy shit! Are you full? And you're going to be full of Death Rattle. Okay, Death Rattle minions. Um, do I want to actually start with the Jewel Macaw? Do I want to coin? Let's play the Jewel Macaw. And then I'm thinking I'm going to coin the Alley Cat. I am. Because that gives us lots of targets next turn for the Crackling Razor Maw. They're going to be tiny targets, but we'll, we'll hope for stat boost or something like that. Maybe that's crazy. But I don't think the priest is in a good place to clear a bunch of 1-1s. It's not like, you know, he can summon uh, a weapon or... He's literally got nothing to do. Okay. Or um, or ping it like a, uh, like a mage or a druid or anything like that. There's my cat trick. Um, do we use the evolve at this point? We could also drop down the cat trick with the hope that there's going to be a spell coming out of this guy. It's probably going to be a minion, though, so... Although it would be nice to evolve that instead. Mm. Fuck it. Let's put it down. These guys aren't worth adapting. I keep saying evolving. I don't think they're worth adapting in the same way. If you cast a spell and we get our 4-2, then that would be an excellent target. It's a little mana awkward because we're going to have 3 mana and we have a bunch of 2s. Look at 3 cards. Guess, guess which one started in your opponent's deck. Get a copy of it. Oh, that's cool. So, I mean... I wonder if they're guaranteed to be hunter cards, or if it's just complete two cards that are completely at random, which would make it a lot easier. I could gastropods protect my critters. I could evolve one of these guys. I think it makes sense to gastropod. I and mean, it's not a huge threat. But it's something. And then next turn, maybe I go River Croc and then Evolve it. I think that's probably the way to go. Unless I get my Cat Trick. There's the Cat Trick. Then I will Evolve this. Uh, that's starting to be kind of annoying. Okay, you didn't have the chance to heal it. So I could kill. Um, you're also a beast. I could just give you... I could give you enough hit points to survive the exchange. That's the way to do it. So that didn't have Death Rattle anything. He hasn't started on his Death Rattle to the Doom. Oh, Holy Nova, pretty good there. I gotta say, this also does not leave me with a beast. On the other hand, uh, no, that wouldn't trigger this. Okay, there we go. We're gonna go with the Animal Companion. And we might adapt you. Yeah, you got the charge. I think we're gonna adapt you. Let's see what we get. Um, stealth, no. Taunt, no. Pointless. Uh, I guess, are we going to get Death Rattle 2 one, one plants? Yeah, this is kind of shit. I mean, some taunt is fine, but this is, this is better than taunt, because taunt on this is not very useful. So that's kind of annoying. Because there's at least, there's a plus three attack, there's wind fury, there's plus one, plus one. Um, Divine Shield would have been fine. Can't be targeted by uh, spells or hero powers would have been fine. Health would have been fine. Literally, I think there was just four things I didn't care for. 
Living Spores was probably less bad than Poisonous, although now it's like, I wish I had Poisonous. Uh, we want to kill this guy before he gets off his little ability here. Um, I don't have a good way of doing that, and I probably do want to put down my Nesting Rock, unless I want to straight use my Hero Power, but I'm not guaranteed to use this all the time. Um, yeah, we're going to do this, and I think we're going to run two dudes into him. So I'm going to keep my... Um, maybe I will sacrifice him, because I can get the Spore Creatures. He's only got one hit point, sure, but... Yeah, okay, let's do that. You. And you. And then that. Okay, so you don't get to give the plus one, plus one. Presumably, that does progress your... Um... Oh, it's Summon Death Rattle Minion. So yeah, you have progressed that. There's another one, so that's two of seven. And that counts as another Summon too. And that's a lot of taunt. Let's see here. Interesting possibilities. It might be a good time to track... I think it is. Actually, if we could track into a weapon, I'd be pretty pleased with that. Uh, that's really annoying. That's the second time it goes track into track and not really showing me too much that's useful. Um, I think we infested Wolf instead. I think that's okay. So, I could infested Wolf and a creature. I might want to start using my hero power at this point, though. Now, we're going to do that. Alright, we keep some more shit. And I think we have to kill it. Doesn't really matter, I guess. Um, let's drop a freezing trap. Because it'll slow him down a bit. And uh, let's grandmother attack like this, and then go for face. It will be annoying if he attacks the Mirage Caller first, actually. Because then he gets to reuse that ability. Maybe I could have killed Mirage Caller and then dropped this Freezing Trap down. Three of seven. After you summon a minion, trigger its Death Rattle effect. Oh, that's quite good. Nice combo. I don't see any taunts right now. So... You're going to heal yourself. Yep, yeah, that's fine. If I had a Kill Command now... Hey, hey, see? Talking about kill commands. Um, do I have lethal on board? Well, right now, yeah. And actually, he's not going to have enough damage to clear this now. You have there we go. Whew! That worked out well! Hey, this deck, though! I'm kind of digging it! And I almost weirdly feel like I have more control with this deck than with the aggro deck, which isn't a surprise. It's got a little bit more of the, it's sort of like, a little bit more mid-range, right? It's got that opportunity. Although we didn't get to show off Dinomancy. I can't believe it. I mean, that being said, the, the basic hero power is not bad either. It's just, like, thematically, it's there. Um, it's hard to evaluate, like, the value of the cards, too, because their value does change dramatically when you do get Dinomancy. Because there's a lot of sort of weaker creatures in here, but what they do is they ensure, like, there's a, sort of a sticky board. Um, hmm. Well, that's not too shabby. Anyway, that's the end of today's video. I don't know what we're going to do going forward. Um, I might have to go and like see if I can make myself some decks to to win this. Play. Um, it doesn't say in play mode. I think yeah, I don't know if you can complete that against the AI. Normally you can't, but it's possible. Just because like, there's such a good chance that I'm going to end up with such a janky sort of like, this doesn't make any sense at all kind of deck. Um, probably, I mean, I, can you check the, the playlist first? Yeah, I mean, we're not doing that. Primordial Blessings. I want to make... Who re really wants small minions? Make them mighty and dino size. Well, I like the theme of that. What are you suggesting? I mean, a lot of buffs is what you're suggesting. A lot of buffs. Yeah, which isn't what we're doing. We'd just be going like, show me everything with Divine Shield. We don't need to win. We just need to summon a bunch of shit with Divine Shield is really what it comes down to. And it is summon. So this doesn't help. This doesn't help. This doesn't help. I don't think. Um... Buff your things with Divine Shield. Except I, I have surprisingly few things with Divine Shield so far. Um, are, okay, well, I mean, Tyrion. Are there really no other... I mean, there's got to be just, like, I don't have access to it. Yeah, that that's... Well, you're legendary. Are there really so few Paladin cards that actually come with Divine Shield these days? I mean, there's plenty of neutrals that have it, and that would be the thing, right? You're just like, 
Random stuff. Cthune? Okay, maybe maybe that's a little too desperate. I don't know, 4-2 or 3-3. I mean, what's the big difference? Not much, to be honest. There. Oh! Oh, taunt Divine Shield. Oh, more Divine Shield. Excellent. We'll just... And that, that's that. So there you go. I'd have to play those, like, I think it's ten times. And then I would get it. Well, that's something. And then you put in, like, standard Paladin-y stuff. Well, we're still going to put a cut in here. Thank you very much for watching, folks. I'll see you guys next time.